Good afternoon YouTubers, and that was a back cast. I've never seen one before. Amazing. <laughs> Right, hello YouTubers, uh, we're back again with Paul Humble, uh, he's going to do some fishing lessons uh, of all sorts today, we're going to do a bit of casting, um, back casting included, pendulum casting, South African casting, ground casting, Brighton, Plymouth, New York, I don't know, everywhere, but of that, uh, and he's going to show us a little bit of um, bait presentation as well, a lot of you have been requesting that out there, um, so we're going to see a few bits and pieces on that. But uh, first of all, Paul's going to explain what he's going to do with the pendulum cast. Uh, you're going to like this. Right, Paul, what you got? Right, well, last time me and Big Man here were doing it, people complained they couldn't see the lead. So here, can you see that? Right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's a monkey's fist. It's a throwing net used on the boats for transferring rope from boat to boat. Somebody had the bright idea of doing it as a dog's toy, so hopefully there ain't no dogs around. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to be swimming a long way otherwise. Yeah, that's, uh, well, it weighs 552 ounce uh, uh, gram, so same, same weight as a, a dead weight. So, which is absolutely superb. Now, I really do hope you can all see this. Um, if I get hit by this ball and that, it's not going to work as much as a lead either. So, um, <laughs> well, actually, yeah, I do want to know, right. So, hopefully, we can see this. I doubt you can see that because I can't. Uh, I've got a lot of light on there actually, <laughs> reflecting on the screen, but I think that's showing up. <laughs> Alright, he's trying to actually knock the fish out, I think. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh. he's going to have another go at that. Right, let's see if we can get it in. Alright, well, can we come around and get behind him? I don't know where it's a safe place to stand, to be honest. Alright, <laughs> 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 it's obviously not getting the distance of a um, normal weight, it's not exactly aerodynamic. Um, on the end of the rod. I bet it does. That goes out there, let's go. Right, we're looking at a South African car, so if you can see the angle he's standing to the beach there. Round. Over your shoulder. And that really is sort of, that's basically the, the, the end of a uh, pendulum cast, isn't it? So if you're any of you thinking of the pendulum cast, it's a good way to start. I've done that a few times and you really can get some distance on it. All in the timing. And you'll see the front foot and Paul's standing there on his left leg and that is actually swiveling towards the beach as he, he turns. Very nice cast. Right, we can see the, uh, the angle of the dangle there. Right, he's going to flick that ball away. Right, straight line. So he's got it in a straight line. Down. And over. That's a nice old splash, that. Yeah, we want to see you're not going to get any distance to the, the shape of that. Well, exactly. I'm not putting any ultimate thing on there, not snapping your finger. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you all get the basic idea on that one. So, what have you got next for us, then, Paul? Well, they call it the Brighton cast or the Dover cast. Right, the Brighton or Dover. It's the one that they use when they're very limited in their uh, space. Right, so as you can see there, he's laid the rod tip away from him, and the ball actually towards him. It's underneath so, the rod tip. So it's underneath the rod tip. And when you pull it over, you start pressing the rod. Not so. Again, yeah, it's good distance on that. Let's do another one of those. I'll see if I can get the full rod so you can see the bend in the shot as well. Right, so here we go again. The Brighton or Dover cast, depending on where you come from. So you can see the drop. Yeah, the pulgar. Keep the drop the same. 
every time you cast, keep the drop the same, and you'll get the same before. Start mucking about with the length of the drop, and it alters all your timing and everything, and you start to jerking and losing your bait and everything. Right. So from there, Okay, nice couple of demos there. Brighton or Dover cast for limited space. Okay, well Paul's going to just show us the pendulum cast, just the initial stages. He's not actually going to cast out here. Right, so from there, push it out. All right, I'm going to step back a bit on that and see if we can get it a little bit better in there. Hopefully we'll be able to see it. Oh, he's just sorting his balls out. Right, well, hopefully you can see that. So, there's the stance. Flick out. Back up. Down. Yep. Ready? Yep. When that, as you can see from the the footage, when that ball reaches its highest point, it then becomes a neutral on the rod tip. You can't feel it. That is the time when you pick it up, pull it round into the cast. If you pick it up before that, you'll get a very jerky cast. And the same with if you pick it up afterwards, you get a very jerky cast. So you're, ideally, you want to pick it up when it's at the very, very top, when it's actually a dead weight. You can't feel it. So when you actually load the rod up, pull the rod round. You don't get a snatch on the rod because it's a gentle uh, curvature of the rod rather yeah. than a snatch. Yeah, sure. Holding the rod up. Yeah. Okay. Excellent yeah. stuff. Yeah. Right. This is a um, a Mr. Humble cast. This is yeah. a. Uh, this, this is Mr. Humble, Humble Senior cast. This one. I think an that's. Clunk. Yep, an overhead clunk. <laughs> Seems to work. <laughs>